Thank you for joining us today at Miniature Wargaming Labs. Today we'll be painting the Killabots from the Age of Sigmar Dominion box. So to paint this model, primed him Mechanicus Gray. And I use mostly Army Painter paints. So let's go through those. Jungle Green, Scaly Hide, Leather Brown, Fur Brown, Oak Brown, Gunmetal, Shining Silver, Greedy Gold, Ultramarine Blue. You'll notice there's a Stormcast down there. Matte White, Matte Black, Dragon Red, Ash Gray, Necromancer, Cloak. I did use Vallejo German Camouflage Beige, World War II, but you can use a heavy khaki color instead. And I used Citadel's Zandri Dust and some Null Oil. Oh, I almost forgot, used Army Painter Desert Yellow in there, just a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and take this guy. He is an outstanding model, as in all cases. GW, they pay a lot of attention to their sculpts, but let's get into it. To start on the Killapaws, I primed him Standard Mechanicus Gray, and I'm going to use some Army Painter Jungle Green to start on his skin here. Now it's in between all these straps, on his arms. We don't have to be worried about being neat at this stage. I like painting uh, the stuff that's farther away from the surface of the model so you don't have to reach in past everything you've already painted. Now I'm going to put on some Sterling Mud to texture up this. You can also use some uh, Elmer's glue, PVA glue, and some sand. I like to get this tool here. Spread it around like that. I wanted to match this grit up here, so I want to shove Sterling Mud into the join between the base and the actual plastic model. Try to get it a little more seamless. Now we're going to take some Necromancer Cloak and we're going to do the plastic and the Sterling Mud to tie the model together. You see I already put on some ash gray because I was doing another model and I like my stones to be ash gray and I overfilled my palette so I needed somewhere to put all that ash gray so I wouldn't waste it. So what this does is this ties the plastic base material into the sterling mud. Start unifying the whole model together. Now I'm going to take some Zandri dust and I am going to paint these little reeds. The reason I do this is because I painted the matching Stormcast internal or Stormcast Eternals from the set. I primed them in Zandri dust to make the gold hold and um, I just left the reeds the Zandri dust color. So to get these guys to match on my board, I need to paint them the same color. Okay. One little more reed right here. All right. Huh. Almost forgot this set. Uh, 
now that I've got the reek, I'm going to get my Army Painter Leather Brown again. And just gonna put a little brown on top of that to make it distinct. I'm going to use some Army Painter Oak Brown. Once I find my, my brush went, there it is. Okay. And for this, I'm going to use it for the wood of the weapon. And it's going to be for both of them. Careful, there's a little stick grip on. And the flail mace thingy here. Now we're going to deal with this Stormcast Eternal down there and to match what else I've painted in the box. I'm not going to do the exact color scheme, but I'm going to take some greedy gold. I'm going to get them close. So we're just going to put one thick coat being careful to avoid the ground we just painted gray. See, he must be still alive because he hasn't zapped apart and flown away back to Azer for reforging. Now I'm going to take some Army Painter Gunmetal and I am going to do all his armor and weapons. So there, there, the shoulder pad. I'm not going to do that shoulder pad, that one's going to be red. This helmet. I will use some Army Painter Dragon Red. And that will be for this shoulder pad. That will be its decoration. And I will do these on these little decorative hanging knots. Now armed with some Army Painter Fur Brown, what I'm going to do is the various reeds and vines that wrap around the body. Also serves as a belt. You can see it straps for his forearm guards. Now I'm going to use some ultramarine blue to paint a little ultra Age of Sigmar ultramarine here. No, just kidding. My uh, Stormcast Eternal paint his little shoulder pad. Now I'm going to take some matte white. I've got a white palette. It took me a while to find it. Alright. We're just going to do the little Sigmar logo. It's on the shoulder pad. Now I'm going to take some Nolan Oil. And I love this as a wash. And I have a brush that I've destroyed in the past. I'm going to get a little bit wet, dip it in the Nuln Oil, and just douse this character. Make sure to 
turn it upside down so you don't leave any dry pockets in there. And on a couple spots, don't put too much on this ball or it'll all go down to the bottom and just make like this big black spot at the bottom. Now I'm going to take some ash gray. What I'm going to do is, uh, this is a very fine point brush that I just hacked down to turn it into a tiny dry brush. And we're just going to turn it on its side, rubbing it back and forth. Just catch some of the grit here, just the peaks of it. So that way it stands out. We'll use some Army Painter Scaly Hide, and I'll take my homemade dry brush here, getting most of the paint off, and do is just rub it on the skin. Just wherever you can see and reach where it's easy to get to tones down that neon green. To get started here, we're going to use some German Camouflage Beige World War II. And I'm going to grab my sharp brush. So that is this one here. I'm going to take it and I am going to do the teeth. I'm just going to run the brush along the top edges here. Okay, so we got the teeth there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a dry brush. We're going to get most of the paint off the dry brush once we dip it. And we're just going to flick it, aiming for the brown, but if we get something else, no harm done. All right, now I'm going to take some Army Painter Desert Yellow, go back to our sharp brush, because at this point we're pretty much doing detail work, and I dip my pinky in the paint and smeared it around. So we just take the brush, and I'm looking for these little stitches that bind these animal hides together. And I'm just going to make those desert yellow, just a interesting way to make it pop out. So they are all over. There's not many of them, but you're going to have to spin the model around, see if you can find them. Now we're going to go back to our Army Painter Dragon Red, and we're just going to punch up the red sections here. A good chance to tidy up anything you might have disturbed. And kind of just flick the brush tip onto some raised portions. That's the nice thing about orcs. You can make it look rough and swampy. 
Now we're going to take the shining silver and our fine brush here and we're just going to do our sloppy highlight just run in the brush willy-nilly over everything this gives it kind of an oily worn look to it And so we'll do that to taste. Make it as shiny as you want. I know the uh, cover art did a lot of this headpiece is gold, but I liked the all steel look. And there you go. That is our Killer Boss. Very nice model. Well, thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs. We'll see you next time.